head space in my mind time to rewind things rewind things time time to remind me time time yo what's up this is the young disciple the soldier coming to live here on youtube and before i get started i just want to say satan i rebuke you you jealous envious fallen angel you have no power over the saints of god and is and, and in fact god told me if you put one finger on the ones that he has called in his beloved devil you are speed the time up on yourself dummy and i know you don't want to do that because you see these walls right here as soon as we get through and these walls close in it's destruction for you devil but this message that I heard yesterday, which was like on point and on time, it was a message about through the water. And what I realized is in this life that we're living right now is that every single day we wake up like the devil is trying to get us to take our eyes off of Jesus, off of God to begin with. Right. I mean, if you think about it, if Satan seeks to be like god and everything he does is a blasphemous thing against the children of god because attacking the children of god is essentially the devil's way of attacking god so it, it think about this satan cannot beat god and he knows that so the only thing that he can technically do is steal souls and for those that are saved, he, he's trying to oppress. He's trying to attack spiritually and sometimes even physically. But oftentimes, some of the physical attacks God allows and sometimes some of the attacks that the devil attempts, God will block them straight up like Kimbe Matumbo or straight up just swat, swat that just boom, just block it. But there's times like in Job where God will allow some things but yet i noticed one thing like when wally was mentioning about peter when he was getting off the boat he mentioned like how like as soon as he took his eyes off of jesus he started to sink he started to drown and that right there should tell you that um you taking your eyes off of God is the devil's way of um, the devil's way of actually um, causing you to stump, causing me and you to stumble. Any brother or sister out there causing us to stumble because when we just take our eyes off of Jesus, then we're putting we're putting our faith into we're putting our faith into something that we shouldn't. So. That's how the devil will do, right? He'll try to creep up on you and listen, but yet we rebuke any spirits around here in Jesus' name. You cannot hang around. You cannot hang out. And they have to flee because we rebuke them in Jesus' name. You can't hang where you can't hang, devil. You're not allowed to be where God has ordained this message to be. So right now where I am, devil, know that these walls that are building up, like these walls of of the water you see in this picture. This right here is not intended for the children of God. This basically the thing that is built up is not intended for your destruction. God said he is not intended it or 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 appointed you to wrath, right? But there's some disobedient uh, Christians out there who are who are who are being deceived, who are living like the world and expecting God to protect them in a time of trouble. But God will allow them to be deceived. And um, you got to be careful because. See, I have a lot of wisdom for being 29 years young. And the fact that I turned 29 not that long ago, I know the devil knows that I am a threat because not only am I very youthful, but I'm very wise. And I know to not take my eyes off of Jesus. Although I will say 
noticing these walls around me in my peripheral vision even that the devil is 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 trying to tell me like look at these walls like what if they were to fall and i'm and i'm and i'm and i'm and i'm seeing it in my peripheral vision and i'm and i'm reminding my self and i'm reminding my spiritual man in my soul that these walls are not for me so basically what i'm trying to say is that satan is going to try to say that all this that is surrounding you protecting you he's going to lie and be blasphemous and try to say it's it's is what if you know that's the devil though he'll always he'll always accuse accuse and and and, and try to like do things that are like corny and whack and try to like make <clears throat> make up all these offenses against you and when you slip know that you have an advocate with the father and the one thing that happens when you do slip don't let the devil tell you that that god doesn't love you and and the first thing you, we ought to do if we do slip is go straight to jesus like this just go straight to him like kind of like what esther did when she was like you know she went straight to the king i mean you know you know you're not worthy but the fact is you go that you go straight to the king and you go with sincerity and, and you and you and you come with a repentant heart god's always faithful and just to heal you now that's if your dna isn't corrupted let that be known right now let not your dna be cor corrupted and anyway, so basically this means like keep your eyes on Jesus. The devil wants you to take your eyes off of Jesus. But as we walk through the water, like Wally said, you know, the servant of the Lord, as we walk through the water, we notice the uh, Pharaoh coming behind us. But yet, you know, it's funny as we're walking through the water. Like Pharaoh is literally right behind us thinking he's going to come and take us back into bondage, not knowing that those very walls are intended to destroy the enemy. The very walls that Satan tries to tell us um, in our life, like, you know, he'll try to he'll try to intimidate us. Long story short, but yet those walls are meant to protect us and also to destroy the enemy. And that was what that message was about through the water. If anyone didn't catch it, Wally was saying that if we keep our eyes on Jesus and we keep walking through the water, we have to keep moving forward. Even though there's all this blasphemy going on right now, there's all this spiritual darkness right now, we have to keep moving forward. And we have to keep pursuing peace at the same time. Because this is how you defeat Satan. Jesus didn't just come down and start throwing bows and all this. No, he actually defeated the devil with love. Because Satan doesn't have any love. And, and everything he does is, is, is a perverted love. It's evil with, 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 with love sprinkled on, 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 the, on the box that says love. But inside is inside is like a um inside the box is 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 a is a um is a is like a a bomb or something i don't know if that sounds funny anyways don't let the devil deceive you walk through the water pray that i continue to walk through the water and uh not take my eyes off of jesus because this is a war and i feel it in my spirit but i know that Whenever the devil tries to, um, like, you know, with that little fun funky ticket thing, when I was clearly taking the right turn, well, I just use my right turn signal every single time. And if they try it again, they'll clearly see my right turn signal and they'll be like, they, they know, they'll know they can't because it will be obvious you can't. So anyways, devil, you're a liar. Jesus Christ is Lord. You will burn unless you repent. You will not see heaven never again devil and everyone that follows you will burn in the lake of fire and the children of god will not see destruction we will not see no second death and and those that are, are are called and sealed some of us won't even taste death and devil you hate that in jesus name devil we have victory
Be blessed, everyone, in Jesus' name.